Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my personal opinions on the Nike Hypervenom Phantom 2. Now, if you normally watch my channel, you know that my standard reviews are very much uh, informational. I'm trying to give you as many facts and as many little features about the shoe as I can, kind of giving you the most information possible so you have kind of a pretty good idea of what you're getting into prior to purchasing any particular product. What I don't really do in those videos is share too many personal opinions and that's kind of what this series is all about. I've had lots of requests to make a personal opinions video on the Phantom 2. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Uh, so really to make a long story short, I really like the Hypervenom Phantom 2. I think it's a very capable shoe, but at the same time, it just isn't for me. It wouldn't be my pick if I was picking something in general, not just from Nike. And I'll explain why in just a second. Now, with this particular shoe, obviously you have the Phantom 2 in the finish, and I can make a separate video on the finish altogether, which I'll say right off the bat, I prefer over the Phantom 2. The Phantom 2, obviously they tried to introduce that mid-cut design, which they've done successfully. They incorporated it into this particular design, and it works well. Um, is it necessary? Absolutely not. Obviously the rest of the upper, aside from the collar and the midfoot area, is not flying it, so there's really no reason for those flying it elements on the shoe. They affect the performance in no way whatsoever. All it really does is change the look of the shoe and the feel to a certain extent, um, more so just how it feels around your ankle as opposed to the main part of the foot, which in my opinion is what matters most. Uh, but if you really like that mid-cut design from Nike, they're giving it to you here with the Hypervenom Phantom 2. But at the end of the day, it's all about preference. If you don't want the collar or you don't like the feel of the collar, um, which I don't necessarily dislike the feel of the collar, I just prefer the standard cut. And if that is, if, if you're like me, uh, then yes, the finish is probably the better option because pretty much everything else about the shoe is identical to the Phantom 2. So what Nike kind of did with this particular model is they went back to the drawing board, they look at what they achieved with the original Hypervenom Phantom, a shoe that I was personally a very big fan of, and they changed things up significantly. I think what they really wanted to do with this shoe is differentiate the Hypervenom line from the Mercurial line, which they've done extremely well. This is still a thin synthetic upper, um, not quite as thin as what you're gonna find from the Mercurial line, either in the Superfly 4 or Vapor 10. Um, so it's not quite as thin, it has definitely more of a solid sensation. They incorporated Flywire, and of course the upper is still technically Nike skin, although it's completely different from what we got with the original Hypervenom Phantom. I did make a, a comparison video fairly recently where I compared the Phantom 1, the Phantom 2, and the new finish model as well. And I said in that video that while I think the Phantom 2 is ultimately the better performing shoe in terms of responsiveness, I, I personally prefer the feel of the Hypervenom Phantom 1. And that's something that I'm going to stick to. I just like the softer feel of the Phantom 1. And again, this is where I, where I always talk about preference on my channel. It really depends on what you like in terms of how you should go about choosing your next shoe. I am somebody who generally tends to prefer shoes that have a soft natural leather upper or even a soft synthetic material. And that is not what the Hypervenom Phantom 2 is or the finish model for that matter. The entire lineup features a synthetic material that's thin. It's flexible, but it certainly isn't what I would describe as soft. If anything, I would describe it as quite firm. So if you're looking for that firm, locked in, very responsive sensation, that's kind of what this shoe has to offer. Is that the feel that I like personally? Not really, but I can see what Nike was trying to achieve here, and they have achieved that successfully. If you're looking for an extremely responsive shoe, the new Hypervenom line is what you should look at because it really is um, the most lockdown sensation you can get from any other line of soccer shoes currently on the market. Uh, they didn't really do much to change the sole plate or the stud pattern. They made the sole plate a little bit more flexible, which I personally really like. Um, it's not something that I found to be a major issue on the original Phantom, but it was a little bit annoying out of the box with the sole plate being stiffer than it needed to be. And they fixed that problem on the Phantom 2 and finish model. And of course the stud pattern remains the same as well. Didn't have any issues with the original Hypervenom stud pattern. Still don't have any issues with it here because like I said, it remains unchanged. You have all that texturing on the upper, um, which again, doesn't really impact the feel in my opinion. I like that they did incorporate Flywire on this shoe and they did it in such a way where you don't actually feel the cable which you can feel a little bit on the Superfly 4 and the Obra. So for that reason, it does, like, have, like I said earlier, have more of a uniform kind of lockdown sensation across the entire foot. 
Uh, but again, if you're coming from the original Hypervenom Phantom and if you're, you're looking for something that's gonna have a similar feel, this new um, Phantom 2 is going to perhaps disappoint you because it is completely different. It almost doesn't compare at all when you're talking about the upper and the way it fits and feels on your foot in comparison to that original Phantom model. So that's pretty much it, my thoughts on the Phantom 2 guys. I think it's a very good shoe. I think it's a very good performer, but ultimately it just isn't my pick um, in terms of what I like from a soccer shoe. I prefer something that's gonna be a little bit softer, a little bit more um, kind of padded on my foot, even if it means I'm not gonna get as responsive a feel. But again, if you're looking for the most lockdown, most responsive sensation from a soccer cleat today, um, the Hypervenom Phantom 2 or the Finish for that matter is definitely what you should consider. Cause like I said, they are really top notch when it comes to that particular characteristic um, when it comes to performance. So that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions at all regarding my opinions on the Hypervenom Phantom 2, or if you just like to share your own opinions on the Phantom 2, leave those opinions down below in the comment section. We'll get a bit of a discussion going, um, or I'll answer any of your questions if you do have them. If you enjoy this series, want to see more of it, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.